Yo, what's up everyone? This is Mooks here, back at it again with another haul video for the month of March. And uh, today, you know, we got a pretty short haul, obviously, because of the, the COVID-19 stuff, you know, I've been uh, uh, pushing back on, uh, I mean, you know, holding back on buying every single thing I've wanted to, you know, but uh, we, we picked up a couple things over the past month, so uh, I'm just gonna show it off, all right? So, first off, uh, this is actually one that I was looking for for a long time, because, um, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I had previously bought in Spongebob season one and two, and uh, I just needed the, the third season to complete it, but it was sold out for a long time, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so I finally thought that it was in stock on Amazon, so I picked it up, right? Expecting it to come in the exact same type of like slim cases as uh, the previous two seasons, but then, you know, the one, it arrives in the mail and uh, this is what I got. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, clearly like the old school, like early 2000s packaging. Um, I don't even know if this is like a collector's edition or like a rare item at this point, because I've never seen like a sealed one of these before, but yeah, this is the one they sent me, the, the old version. So uh, it's the exact same thing as the, the, the new version, just like in the thicker case, I guess. Um, ultimately, I'll probably end up keeping it because it was still only like 10 bucks, but yeah, I'm excited to finally have this because yeah, it has so many like classic, classic episodes on here. Um, but yeah, that's that. Next up, also in the TV vein, we got Married with Children, uh, the complete series. Uh, if you've never heard of this before, it was a, a, a sitcom on Fox, actually, uh, which started in um, 1988, I believe, or 1989. And uh, it was like uh, Fox's like, most popular show at the time, besides The Simpsons. So basically, it's like a, one of those like dysfunctional family type sitcoms you know you have a uh, the main character al bundy who's like a who's like a woman's shoe salesman you know who uh he, who has a wife that doesn't love him kids that don't love him you know what i mean uh so yeah just like them like uh insulting each other the whole time like that, that sort of like lowbrow raunchy kind of humor you know what i mean i feel that sports glorify violence and competition and i don't think it's psychologically healthy when we have a child, we don't want it to grow up with that winning is the only thing attitude. A child is better off not being exposed to sports. You're gonna neuter him too? Uh, I used to watch this on like TV when I was a kid, so I have like a nostalgic kind of a uh, attachment to it. You know, it's not for everyone, but I'm glad to finally have it. Um, the complete series too for only uh, 30 bucks, which is it's a lot of content, obviously. <laughs> Uh, I just recently was watching the first uh, two seasons, I think. So, yeah, I'm definitely getting my money's worth. And uh, it's fun to have something uh, to laugh at, you know. Next up, okay. This is actually very, very special. Um, my first Criterion Collection Blu-ray, Punch Drunk Love. Man. This, I've been like dreaming about getting a Criterion Collection release for the longest time. Uh, if you've never heard of Criterion Collection, uh, it's a company, uh, Criterion, who puts out, like, uh, a lot of, like, older movies or, like, uh, uh, more, like, critically acclaimed movies that don't have, like, a license or a studio or whatever putting them out. So, basically, um, man, I'm describing this so poorly, but, yeah, it, uh, it's basically a company that, like, takes a lot of, like, the, the, like, the famous, like, art films or, like, uh, more critically acclaimed films that were put out over the years and, uh, they grab the license, uh, completely remaster it, um, add a bunch of special features, you know, uh, give it a brand new cover art, which wasn't there before, um, and they have their own, like, set of, like, clear cases, which, uh, um, you know, it's very unique to them in that sense, you know, so, yeah, if you ever have, like, a friend who's, like, really into, like, films and stuff, definitely check out the Criterion Collection, there's a bunch of, like, really cool films on there, um, yeah, Punch Drunk Love uh, was one I really, really wanted for the longest time. If you've never seen this movie, it's like a... It's kind of like a... A romantic comedy in a sense, you know? But it's not like a other Adam Sandler films where it's like super duper, like, over the top goofy. It's more like subtle and, uh, you know, like heartwarming, that sort of time, uh, that sort of thing. It's directed by Paul Thomas Anderson, who directed um, uh, There Will Be Blood uh, and Boogie Nights, like those kind of like more serious movies, so... Yeah, um, I'm definitely really excited to check this out. I might just watch this tonight, actually. Um, yeah, so that's that. So, that's pretty cool. 
Um, that's pretty much it for games and, uh, I mean, sorry, <laughs> TV and movies. Next up, we got the one game that I purchased. Um, Yakuza 6, The Song of Life. Uh, this is the Essence of Art Edition, which comes with a hardcover book featuring more than 20 artworks from the Yakuza community. Artworks. Plural. I don't know what that means, but... Yeah, so this was on sale on Amazon for like 14 bucks or whatever, and I know I'm not gonna get to this for like two years at least, but it was just so cheap and, you know, it was a cool version of the game, so I thought, yeah, well, might as well get this, right? So, that's that. Next up, we got something very special. My first ever figure. So, let's uh, go over to the bookshelf. Let me show you the box. Or right, no, should I show you the... Okay, yeah, I'll show you the figure first, yeah. So, here we... Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta from Dragon Ball GT. Yeah, I was looking at this figure for the longest time, waiting for it to come out, and uh, when it finally came out, yeah, I grabbed it right on the spot. EddieBGames.com. Uh, so, yeah, this is really cool. I don't know what to say about it, but... Yeah, I've always been a big, big fan of the way the Super Saiyan 4 has looked. Uh, the character designs, obviously, so... Yeah, for me, like, these kind of characters, like Super Saiyan 4, Goku, Gogeta, they were always, like, super badass looking, so... Yeah, I was really excited to pick this up. Like, they nailed the hair, the pose looks pretty cool, um, the pants, all that stuff. It's funny, when, my, when I was showing this off to my mom, she was, I was like, do you know what this is? Do, do you recognize this character? Oh, yeah, the tail, too. And she was like, oh, yeah, 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 I, re I remember. She was like, yep, she's, he's wearing the, the traditional, like, era pants. I know who this is. And I was like, oh, who is it? She's like, Aladdin. It's like, no, not, not exactly. But, you know, uh, E for effort. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, here's the box. The box looks really, really cool. Yeah. I'll probably just keep it on display because, uh, yeah, I just like the, the way it looks, too. Um... But yeah, oh yeah, another thing, the size of this thing is really, really big. Like, um, I, I don't have any other figures for scale. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. For scale, yeah, here's a season 10 of Friends. This, a, this should help put things into perspective. Yeah, so it's pretty big, honestly. Like, I was not expecting it to be uh, that big. So yeah, it looks really cool. Every time I walk by it, I'm just like, damn. It catches my eye, you know? I'm like, oh, pretty cool. So yeah, I don't know if I'll buy more figures in the future, but that's just one in particular that I really, really wanted. So yeah, that's that. Um, and then last but not least, this is probably the biggest purchase out of everything. Um, this thing I'm about to show you. Um, yeah, so Chapters was having a sale on manga and you know, I've been making some money over the past month. So I was like, you know what? This is a long time coming. Let me just buy the whole thing, the whole damn thing. So here we go. Watamode, the complete uh, released series at this point. That's volume 1 to 15, and yeah, I have 16 pre-ordered too. So, yeah, this is a, a manga series that I've been reading. Uh, it's not like I've been actively, actively reading it. I just checked it out when it first came out in 2011. Um, probably read like the first three volumes and then just, you know, lost touch with it. Um, but yeah, I've been hearing a lot of good things from my friend Brandon about it. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, it sounds like it, it gets pretty interesting later on in terms of like character development and uh, introducing new characters as well. So uh, yeah, I picked it up and uh, I've been really enjoying it. So let me, let me just show you a couple, a couple of the covers. Uh, yep. I'm actually on volume uh, seven now. So that tells you how much I've been enjoying it. I've just been reading them, you know, at work or at home when I get the chance, you know? So yeah. Man, these all have such amazing, great covers. Like, I'm used to the manga where it's like, uh, the covers are just like one, you know, one matte finish. But these ones, like, they actually put so much work into them. Like, it might be hard to tell on camera, but it's like, the, the background is a matte finish, but then like, the, the lettering is all like, shiny. Like, that's next level. Really, really cool. And uh, yeah, just like the actual covers are very beautiful, and then like, uh, the lettering on the side, they each have like a different color scheme to it, every single volume, you know what I mean? Really, really cool. So, yeah, I'm not going to show off all the covers because like, I actually ha myself haven't looked at all the covers because it looks like there might be some spoilers involved in there. So, uh, yeah, I think I pretty much stopped at 7 at this point and yeah, oh wow, okay. Um, yeah, so, 
that's that, you know, uh, all 15 volumes. I got a lot to read, you know, now that we're uh, self-quarantining, basically, you need something to read, right? And because of the chapter sale, it was a buy two, get one free. So I thought, you know, it's a what better time than now, right? So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the whole video. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully see you next time. Bye.